Hey everybody, Hambo back here at the table, talking about hats. Weather's warmer, everybody's out more. I don't know about uh, some of you guys, but uh, or girls, but I wear hats almost all the time. I definitely wear them at work, uh, just out and about, driving around, going to do things. I've always got a hat on of some sort. And like most of you, the prevalent one that I wear most of the time is a duckbill style or just plain old baseball cap. Uh, I must have over 300 baseball caps. I work in television. I have hats from every TV network, every movie studio. Uh, there's one right here. Uh, I just had it sitting here. This is from uh, CAA Television. Uh, they're a big sports network here on the uh, East Coast. Okay, uh, it's the Collegiate Athletic Association. Viewer friendly, millions at a time. Okay, so baseball caps are very prevalent, but <clears throat> like the rest of you, I don't settle for the norm. Most of those caps I never wear. This is one I do wear. This is a very popular tactical style. It's being used right now overseas a lot. This is called the operator's cap. What it is, is it's a various color cap. This is in digital camo. They come in tan, black, OD green. Uh, and what makes them unique is you can customize them as to the insignias you put on because they have Velcro patches on them. There's a big one in front. Uh, most of them come with at least one patch, but a lot of them are sold without any patches at all. There's the Velcro there. And you just attach your patch to it. There's one on top, which I never knew, but then somebody told me that this can be used to uh, actually put, they have little indicators for blood type and other things that are sometimes stuck on there, but I don't really believe them. It's just a stupid place to put it. It's right at the top of the hat where the button used to be. But it can be used for something. Somebody knows what to use that for. Please enlighten me because I'll admit my ignorance. And then in the back, you have another strap. Now, since I was in the Air Force, there's a uh, an ID rocker that would usually go on uh, BDUs. Now, the thing is with this, that strip of Velcro on the back is fairly long, but with the curvature of the hat, it's very hard to get a patch to hold. So you'll notice I added a little, couple little stitches just to hold it on. I mean, it sticks very well, but it was kind of coming up at the edges, so this holds it to the cap. Uh, this is made by Condor Industries. Uh, just about every other tactical manufacturer will make one of these. It's just called an operator's cap, and they come in a couple of different colors. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is uh, these are not very expensive. They're less than 10 bucks, and there's all kinds of ways to modify patches you have in your collection, put them on your hat, individualize them if you wish. Um, it's the standard uh, cap on the inside. Uh, bill's a little bit longer to shield shooter's eyesight a little bit. That's always really handy, especially during the summertime. But this can get a little warm. It's not very thick, but it is a full cap. It does have the little air holes in it, but that doesn't do a lot. So, what have our friends come up with? They have come up with the same style for warmer weather, and it is ventilated in the back. Isn't that cool? Still has the solid panel by the patch. Still has the same stupid patch on the top. Really want to know what that's for. And there's what the uh, patch looks like in the back. The Velcro patch. I don't have anything on it. But again, you can see the, uh, the mesh. There's my hand on the inside there. You know. Let's see. Well, trust me. The holes are there. You can see the holes. You can see through it. There you go. There's a good shot of it. But anyway, much cooler, especially as the weather gets warmer. Still about the same price. Again, it's made by the same company. Condor. Uh, all the other manufacturers make them. It is the Velcro adjustable strap on the back, uh, which is really cool. And uh, it, uh, it'll fit even big heads like mine. I am a 7 and I'm almost a size 8, which is a huge, ungodly, monster-like head. And this hat fits me very, very well. But again, it's nice and cool and comfortable. You can crush it, you know, throw it in a pack, take it out like any other baseball cap. But it does give you 
a little bit of extra coolness and it's not the old man trucker style cap it's not going to have the, the five foot brand it's a nice low profile again the longer bill to give you a little bit more eye shade I tend to warp mine around but uh, again these come in all the colors but I just use black but you can get them in any other color they're at your surplus store they're online and I just think they're really cool in every sense of the world good way to keep your lid on as the weather gets warmer that's the hat see you later